Aqua here. Welcome to another episode of Feed the Beast Infinity. And they said insanity again. Feed the Beast Infinity. Few things to get on with this episode. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to do a little bit of Farmcraft. I know some people don't want to see me doing a lot of Farmcraft uh, this series, but I need to do a little bit. What I'm looking for? I'm actually looking for my clipboard. There it is. Uh, ah, I've just died as well. Look at that. Three deaths. I was over. That there's a hungry node, by the way. I was over here checking nodes out. I've been. I'm just marking a lot of nodes on the map, as you can see there's loads over there, air uh, 56, you know, stuff like that. I went near this one, all of a sudden it went foggy, and a uh, Eldritch Guardian spawned, and I started running away, ran over a poison ivy, poisoned me, that was great, and hit me in the back and it withered me, <laughs> and uh, I died. Son of a bitch, down to three, uh, down to three deaths. I am struggling to get an order of a uh, gas tier. That there is a Pam's Abbey's craft octopus, I like the look of it, so I'll put it in a picture for him. I... Uh, yeah, I'm struggling getting a gas tier, which I need to get on with making a spawner. Done a couple of things up top. I was getting the clipboard, I wasn't I? There we go. It's there. So what we're we done. So I was going to show you that. Um, I, I might show you that this episode. I might not. Enderman spawner is what we're working towards. Uh, compressed cobble and ender quarry is what we're really working towards. A couple of little things. Uh, when I was out and about, I did find some ender lily seeds. I was thinking I was saying that last episode that I'd not seen any. I found there. That's a great wood tree with a spider chest. And then there is one of them little like rich it's not the ritual one, it's just the one with the chest on it and the and the uh, wisp spawner. In that chest there was eight eight ender lily seeds. I've got one more ender lily seed from another place. So I've got nine ender lily seeds there. I'm not growing very quick because they are just on grass at the minute. And that's one thing I want to work towards, which is why I need to do a bit of farmcraft. So I just wanted to mention that. I've uh, got a village up top. I've got another village in my bag as well. This one in my bag is a farmcraft one. will give me emerald for these gold coins. Oh. Them things. It'll give me emeralds for them. So that's alright. Uh, what have I done with this? I've made another... I did have another, enough stuff to make another storage cell. I've not named these, but I can name these in an inscriber. Which I will get wrong to at some point. That's ingots, that's gems, organic, that's blocks, and that's crafted stuff. So I've got most of my stuff in here. I've not got everything in here, I've still got a couple of chests with other random crafted stuff in there. Uh, a bit of cooked fish there because I kept getting Pam's Harvest craft fish. I've just been doing a bit of fishing, I'll show you for why in a minute as well. So uh, yeah, and then Foundcraft Progress, I want to let you know what I've done with Foundcraft. I've not made much, I've made a pair of goggles, and I've made a Great wood wand, which is just gold caps and a great wood rod. And uh, once you've researched them, so that's not very far on the stuff making. I'm actually going to make something right now. I'm going to make a better bow. Three bone, an entropy shard, three string, and some aspects there. Gets me a bow of bone, which is pretty cool. This will last me until I get the draconic one that I'm going to be going for. And uh, that's why I needed a gold banded wand because it's it's 32. And um, the other wand, oh, there's 25. I've Caught some fish, we're we'll gonna need them. And uh, what I actually need to do is I need to make myself uh, an infusion oil. So I'm just gonna quickly chuck the bits together for that. If I get some stone and put my one back in there, I can make some arcane stone blocks. Because one of my hard fought for ender pearls surround that with some of them. Get some of runic matrix. And then I think I need just four of them. Yeah, and uh, that's enough to get me going with. I still need some of them, don't I? It's enough to get me going with uh, infusion. So, so far, six, eight. I'll go with 12 of them. That'll give me. Uh, is that too many? I don't know. I've lost count. I like to have uh, eight. Oh, yeah, I've made too many. Screw it. It's only a bit of aspects, isn't it? So I'll be carrying that on me and killing stuff. Uh, yeah, I've been knocking around in the nether a little bit. I made a crucible there. I'm not going to do anything in the crucible. I'm going to do it all through the automated, um, automated alchemy, which we shall get to. I want to get that connected to the A network as quick as possible using thermic energistics. So I don't really want to do any manual. I don't, I don't really want to do any, any manual infusion, really, but I just want to get a couple of things on the go. So I'm going to jump up here and uh, show you what's going on up here. So I've not done a great deal up here. That's uh, just the same as it was. This barrel filled up so quick. Uh, I couldn't believe how quick it filled up. About six stacks, 
from that we filled this barrel it was full about a minute after i stopped recording so i've just turned that off there what i need to do is have some kind of level control on that i think just um so it doesn't keep Aww. chucking the berries out onto here because they just end up as floating around when this is full so you can see that's full i've got nothing to use this on yet but that's filling back up that was down to like two and a bit stacks once that was full so that's slowly filling back up which is nice and then uh, slowly using energy which is okay and here's a little villager i've been using it's been giving me emeralds for wheat unfortunately his next two trades are a bit crap so i've had to buy some shears for free emeralds and uh, when i've maxed out his wheat trade i will buy some bread for an emerald and we'll carry on from there and then the other thing that i said i was going to do in here so um yeah thorncraft progress i've done a lot of research uh, compressed cobble so i do this off camera because it's pretty straightforward really basic uh, extra utilities cobble gen here just got one world interaction upgrade in it and it goes pretty steady i can upgrade this of course to um, speed and five full stacks of these later on and this will produce this is set to just keep producing cobble now even in a couple of hours i've had this running i've got a two quadruple already so there you go that's just one world interaction upgrade you see it's nice and steady it's just bringing me in a cobble every second i checked out in my single player the upgraded resident ignis extruder and um this is still quicker about as quick even just with one of them in so when you've got loads of them in, it's gonna be really quick loads of them just stacks at a time and uh this will gradually i need a bigger box at some point but all i've got here is I did all this i don't want to do this on camera but all i've got here is these are what, what you call group um, command groups so in a command group you can just create little things inside it and then you can come back out and they all stay in the group out of the way so uh, i'll just get rid of that so that's one that's made there so we've got is our trigger and then eight command groups one for each the little crafting things and then each side inside each one of these we've got a node in and a node out so that's these things here a node in and a node out if you've got this is an input node which means if you come out of the thing there is an input tab on it see there we've got two there now so i'll just put that other one in if you make it to an output node then if you come back out you'll see that's got two output nodes so that's what that's about so you need a node in and a node out so for example on our last one there we don't have a node out because we don't need one and then all i've got in here is input from the strong box whatever level cobble i want to put in so this is making the compressed so that's using normal cobble crafter there that has the nine items in to make the next level excess inventory set to the same strong box and the output set again to the same strong box really nice and straightforward and they're just link so compressed double triple quadruple quintuple sextuple septuple octuple so that i can just ignore that and that'll slowly um, not that slow are they that'll slowly get me enough cobble to get a deep dark portal going and stuff like that nice uh yeah so what i want to do now over here i'm going to really quickly throw together uh where the, where the middle you're the middle you're the middle really quickly i want to chuck together if i can remember it correctly i think it's them ones at the bottom and then these ones on the top i really I want to get this connected to, oops, to the a network as quick as humanly possible but i need to get the a network up here first and uh, for that I need resources break that and break that and i think i need 40 of each thing in my wand to activate this i do so i can't actually do this yet anyway but there we go I, i'm going to get a little thing together and you want to make sure that everything is symmetrical around this so i shall have two on each side to start with uh, and there's me three left over here yeah, i think i maybe needed one more uh, two on each side i'll do for now so that's my little area there i should be manually bringing a few jars up to create stuff the thing i'm going to create i'll do that off camera but i'll show you once i've done is a couple of things i want to do with infusion one thing i want to make myself boots of the traveler that's what i needed the fish for i need a fish some leather boots a couple of shards a couple of enchanted fabric which is just string around wool and uh, so i'll get that med back go back and uh a feather some itse we can get from boats and volatus we can get from feathers and a couple of other things so i shall get them made so i can move around a bit quicker and then as well as that 
Uh, you do want a bit of runic shielding, which is also infusion. Uh, I might have to wait until until I'm hooked up with other stuff to do with that, to be honest. So that'll be a bit later on. Come back out of there. The other thing I want to make is I want to make myself a fishing golem, and that needs arcane infusion as well. I need three fish and a fishing rod around the harvest core. I can make that nice and easy. So I'm going to get myself a fishing golem because he'll get me enchanted books. And for our ender quarry, we need magic wood. So ender quarry, we need a couple of ender cores. We also need them for the ender lily seeds we've got. And you see that needs magical wood. Magical wood, you want enchanted items. So enchanted books, enchanted fishing rods, enchanted bows, all work for that. So if getting a fishing golem on the go is going to get me all of them all three of them items so I uh, shall be making that and uh, one other thing from Farmcraft I'm going to probably research and make is a thallium scoop so I can start on the bees on the bees right uh, and then decent boat some boots I can travel around a bit I need to start working on enchanting stuff a little bit as well really but once I've got the books I can set up a little bibliocraft book thing and um, Got quite a few enchanting options. I could go with Batania Enchanter, start, start with Batania. I could go with the Thalwick Tinkerer Osmi, Osmotic Enchanter, which I've actually got set up, but for that you need decent wand recharge, which I've not got. Uh, I need nodes and stuff at my base. I can go with straight Bibliocraft stuff. I've also, from Thalwick Tinkerer, researched the Restorer, which we should be able to power off rubber again, like I've done previously. So I can uh, re repair the plates from the from the Bibliocraft book printer thing. Everything I need though is iron. I need iron for everything. I've got no iron ever at the minute. So I need to get on with doing a few things to help get towards the ender quarry. So it's, it's still, everything is still ender pearls and um, ender quarry at the minute. I'm going to go and get on with, with making this Thorncraft stuff. I shall come back once I have done that. I shall try and get myself a gas tier to capture an ender, enderman in a safari net. And then I need to be making a auto enchanter, no I don't, auto spawner, which is why I needed a, a village to trade because we only had one emerald. The rest of the bits are nice and straightforward. And a grander, grander there, again pretty straightforward in bar sword. Pretty straightforward stuff. This thing is really awesome, I want to make one of them as soon as I can. As soon as I start getting draconium in, this mob grander is really cool, it can kill withers in one shot. Uh, a friend of mine, WTF Geeks, on his series, I've been catching up and watching his series on the Infinity Pack, he's got a really cool wither spawner that I'm going to kind of uh, copy a bit, but make it a little bit smaller. So I've had a little play around in single player. And uh, yeah, insta killing withers. Very nice. I shall be back in a while. Okay then, bit of a change of plan. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to deal with stuff. Uh, I've died again. I'm a bit pissed off for myself because I died again. Walked out my door. Creeper stood right there. Boom! Blew a big hole in here. Killed me. Not happy. Uh, and part of that is because I'm not dealing with stuff well. I am not dealing with things well. It's part of the reason. Um, <laughs> it's happening again. Oh no! Didn't need to step in that. Ah, uh, we get away. Damn guy. Um, part of that is because I don't want to dwell too long on doing and getting armour and enchant sorted because it takes quite a while to get all your gear sorted and uh, I'm just trying to get on with the episodes so I'm leaving myself running around in this crappy unenchanted iron armour and steel armour and uh, I've not even got a helmet on at the minute and it's making me making me die, it's winding me up so I'm actually going <laughs> to take a little bit of time do some stuff off camera and actually get some decent gear sorted what I've been trying to do is I've not actually done anything with the infusion setup yet I've put it together I, I can't have one, two in one go interesting I put it together, I've got a little setup here this is what I use to cook stuff into the aspects and then I use a jar, water jar some there look to so collect the aspect so I'm just gonna trash that hair because I'd actually need that and that was just spare stuff and then so I get something to jars like so and then I can either create things in here using it so I've made a couple of golems so you see I need aspects of humanus motus and spiritus block of thalmium into that this is like a crucible but it does it without making any mess I prefer Making going straight from these. The only thing I've made in a crucible is the night saw that's underneath here. Everything else is actually in this thing, so I prefer doing it this way. You just put what you want in there. See, I could change that to magic tallow 
with a little bit of Precantatio. So all I need to do now put a bit of nether wart, get some Precantatio into a water jar, put the water jar down here and then it will make me some tallow. So that's how I prefer to do stuff. And uh, what I'm trying to go at here is I'm trying to make myself a fishing golem, as I mentioned earlier. That guy. And it needs these fish. Now if you look at the, the boots I showed you, see that will change, that's any vanilla fish. This guy actually specifically needs a salmon, a raw fish, and a puffer fish. And I've gone through a full fishing one, uh, fishing rod, and about four actual Minecraft days trying to get a fish, puffer fish. And Pam's Harvest Craft is giving me all the fish in the world apart from a puffer fish. So what I'm going to do is I'm also I'm going to make this a full magic episode. I'm going to make a start on Britannia. I'm going to get to the point where I can make an alchemical thing here so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to get started I'm going to make a book so I want a book and a, any sapling that bait sapling will do and I can make myself a Lexi kind of a tan yet there we go and in that first thing I need to do is get some living rock and some living stone and uh, mystical flowers what I want to do is I'm going to make a horn of the wild that guy so for that I need pasture seeds so I need to get a mana pool get a bit of mana in that the way you start that is making day blooms because you needed something to get started on and uh, day blooms don't have anything runic in them to just nice and straightforward so i'm going to get some petals together and a petal apothecary i'm going to make myself some day blooms get a bit of mana into a mana pool and then i can make an alchemy catalyst thing and i can change one of these into a puffer fish because i'm just i'm wasting my time trying to get this I don't want to cheat one in, I want to, I want to get one properly. So instead of doing just fishing through, I say I use a full rod. Um, that sword's nearly dead. Uh, so I might as well make a start in Britannia because I'm going to want Britannia anyway for other stuff. So I'm going to do that, but I'm going to do the majority of it off camera because if you've seen anyone do Britannia, you've seen most of how it goes. Look at that, one of them. That middle. Ah, it's actually getting thinner. Interesting. Cool. Because that's actually running out of the Elorium, so I'm running it down. You can actually see the alarm going on the thing. Nice. I've never, I've never seen them full before. Right, uh, <laughs> I might sound a little bit manic. Ooh. So yeah, I'm going to get the bits done. I'm using quite a bit of Steve's Factory Manager already. Uh, my plan, by the way, is to have all this magic is going to be fully, fully tech integrated. So I don't want anything. I don't want like I want all my Britannia and Foundcraft and Blood Magic stuff to be built into the tech system rather than rather than separate. So. Thaumic Energistics, uh, I'll be using, I'll be automating things with Thaumcraft. I'm going to automate the living wood and the living rock straight away so I can have a stock of that using Steve's Factory Manager. So I've got Steve's Factory Manager there, I've got it over there, and I'll also have another couple of setups for living wood and living rock. I'm going to get that sorted, get some day blooms made, get myself a mana pool. So you need living rock for mana pool. There you go, mana pool. I look at mana pool first, and uh, I have got one of them flower things. I'm gonna see how much mana that gives me, uh, and it's down here. I've got one of them from a from a loot chest. That guy. I'll see how much mana that gives me. See if I can actually turn it straight into a proper mana pool. So I'm gonna spend a bit of time. I'll get all that done, and I shall see you when I'm ready to. Uh, well, I'll, I'll get all that done, and I'll do my enchant uh, my timecraft infusion I wanted to do. So then, I should be ready to get on with something tech. Here we are then. I've got my two little pure daisy setups. Pure daisy is just four white petals in the petal apothecary, really nice and quick. And uh, I've just got a chest here. I'm just going to do it. This is kind of ready for later on when I've got the AE setup. What I want is a import and export bus with a level limiter, just so I can keep a stock of say 64 um 64 living rock or 64 living wood i'll probably actually do this off my off my inner chest setup when i've got it going so that the inner chest will have a stock of stone and a stock of um living rock in it and i'll have it set from a redstone emitter probably so that when the stock of living wood gets below 64 it makes some more and puts it straight into the ender chest there we go nice little simple setup We've got a variable so it does a four each loop through the thing i've done a video on this if you want to see it look in my mod spotlights and tutorials and showcases playlist but basically all it's saying is for each of the block gates 
if there is a living rock or a living wood on there, depending which one it is, if there's, this one's living rock, if there's a living rock on there, then break it and put it in the chest. If there's not a living rock on there, then take a small stone from the chest and put it onto the block gates. Nice and simple. And it's just got me a stack of each of the living wood and the living rock. Lovely. Yeah, I'll take that with me. So I'll put another stack of stone in there later on. And I'll put a bit more wood in there later on. But for that, for now, that's all good. I've had a run around. I ran to spawn. I went a little bit further than I've been before. I went over here. It looks a bit dull. I went over there, came back and picked up 32 yellow flowers and 16 orange, 16 light blue. And I made them into petals and I'm just doing the last couple now on camera here. So XX, oops, Q, 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 I mean, not X at all. And then I've got my bucket filler there which unfortunately puts out your bar which winds me up a little bit i will make a run of the seeds for this later on but you need a mana source in your inventory for that and uh you need a ruin of water it's nice and cheap to use but it uses a bit of mana so you need either a mana ring or my personal favorite is the mana mirror so yeah q q q q q get some eat day blooms i'm using melon seeds for that uh, it seems any seeds work, I think which are, ooh, like that. I walked in here a minute ago and there was a fallen knight and that square there was, um, was a red, and, a red cross. So I moved the torch across one. My lighting's terrible. You've got to remember though, oh look at that as well, that's also terrible. That's maybe why I blew, uh, got blown up earlier. Right, so I've got a little basic mana pool here. I've planted, had some well, trees growing, but I give up. Uh, basic mana pool here. Uh, I'm also going to need a mana spreader, so let's get that. In fact, let's get these placed first. So, 32 of these. And what you cannot do with these is you cannot place them right next to each other. Otherwise, they share and uh, they're less efficient, so you've got to do them in a crosswise pattern. If you can be bothered, it's worth making some nightshades as well, so you've got night and day mana production but this is just a temporary mana solution until I um, get something better on the go. The thing is with these day blooms it's nice and easy to make because you do not need any runes in them all you need is the four petals so they are your starter for ten and a uh, nice little nice little pattern there should do me and you see these have got this little pattern this little graphic showing that means there is something going on they are collecting sunlight they are, ooh, they are not going to get anything there damn it okay that's come across a bit further um i'll do that on off camera i'll sort that out what i also need then is a mana spreader for a mana spreader we need a bit of gold i believe can hit a spider somewhere. Presume it's on the back of the tree. Um, and we need a petal for this. So I'm just going to take a random petal. I'll have a green one. That's where Mickey petals there. So that's my Batania chest, if you had not guessed. Uh, just a crafting bench. I want a petal. I can't remember this. It's been a while since I've been one of these. I think it's like that. Like that. There we go. One mana spread it. And now all I need to do is have this above the middle of here. So yeah, let's come out a bit. I'll, uh, I'll bring this whole lot over here a bit. Uh, have it above the middle. So like so. And point it at the mana pool. So just for now. I'm going to go really rough shod. Uh, I'm going to go like that actually. Put it on the floor. And if you place it the way you want it to face, then it should place correctly. It has not. So a... Come on. Why are you facing the wrong way? What are you facing up for? You should be facing this way. There we go. So what you should start seeing is the should start mana bursting into this pool. There we go. So we have got mana coming into our pool there. 
And this has only got a limited range, so it might not be reaching all these. What we need to do next is, while well, that's going on, uh, that's putting some in there. What we need to do is we need to chuck one of these diluted mana pools in there to make it into a actual mana pool. There's one. Cool. And then we'll do the same with the other one, because these, um, these diluted ones don't do much at all. So you see there, we have got a cross on that. When we get a little bit more mana in there, we'll get to make that into a full one. What I can also grab is... Ooh. I've had uh, that's my fifth ouch, that's my fifth um, ender pearl out of there now so my ender pearl situation is not maybe as bad as it was earlier so the the agency for that mana um, the agency for the enderman spawner is lessening all the time I need to get a couple more um, I'll go with a black one sinister, I'll take that with me as well what I want to do now is get couple of twigs, Britannia twigs, two of them, I think it's, oops, there's petals in it, so I need just two petals, I don't need both of them, um, twig, twig, there's three twigs in it, I'm sure, I'm sure it's three twigs, this will come in handy if it's not, you like that? There we go. Wonder the forest. So that is your Britannia wrench for one of another word. I can now jump up top. I'm thinking I said I'm gonna move on something tech for this episode. I think I might just make this into a magic episode and make a start on blood magic and make a start on witchery as well while I'm doing it. And start all four of the main magic mods in uh, one go. So now what we can do with this is one thing we can do is we can see the status of these by clicking on it. You see they've got a tiny amount of mana in there. What I can do with this that I've found is chuck it in there. How much is that going to give me? Oh great. Not well, that didn't do much, did it? Well, I was supposed to put stuff in there. What we can also see is, see when I'm mousing over one of these, you can see a little highlight box around that. That's showing that these are in range. It's showing which one of which mana spreader these are all going to. So we can see from that that all of these are in range. I think that's not under the sun. I think them ones possibly are. No, I'm going to go them ones. So yeah, I'll move it all across. We're getting a little bit of mana. It's not startling, but it's going to let me get a start. The, what I need to mix first of all is an alchemy catalyst, this thing. So for that I need some living rock, I need a couple of brewing stands, so I need to get a couple more blaze rods. And um, I need a mana pearl, which is an ender pearl. Put through there and you can see how much of the mana pool you need full. And you can see we are not there yet. And I'm back and I have got enough mana in my mana pool to turn this clownfish, which was a salmon, I've already thrown it in here once, into a puffer fish. Hooray! So now I can go and do my infusion up there. So I'll quickly do that. I mentioned blood magic and witchery. I'm not going to bother starting that. Blood magic I need I need um, some kind of regen for, of course, which I've not got. I could actually make one of them regen necklaces now. I should do that. I have just got lucky. I went into the nether and I'm, what I made was um, I made a fire resist potion. And I brought some blocks in here. It's a bit dodgy with no fire resist potion on because the ones at the front of you can't hit me. But the ones that spawn near the back, they've got a different angle of attack. They can actually uh, hit me from here. So if, I'm, if, a, if a blaze spawns at the back there, you will see that he can see me. But I've got some fan. you can't actually see him, but I've got some fans just up there from open blocks. Three fans. And uh, I've got them blowing the blazes this way towards me. And if you're fighting blazes, if you have a fire resist potion on, as long as you look back there, you can actually fire at me like that and set me on fire. <laughs> uh, if you've got a fire resist potion on, blazes aren't that much trouble. They, they don't often melee you. They do melee you if you're not careful. And uh, they do do a bit of damage when they do melee you. But with. A, I've used two eight, minute, two eight minute fire resist potions in here. I'll just name one, see what bag we get. And uh, that was enough for me just to put a load of blocks in here and create that. That's given me a nice little way of getting blaze rods, which is not bad. So, yeah, that's. Uh, oops. That's something I don't look at all that. Diamond, Ender Pearl, Emerald. 
ring. That was a nice bag. We dumped some stuff into here. Uh, between episodes, this is going to run out, so I shall move the reactor up to the top when my, so my base is eventually getting fully up the top, like it was always planned to be. Uh, I'll just dump that stuff in there for now, and I'll sort that out later. So let's jump up to the top then. And hi, oh, I have just, in, I just made this as well. So that is the farmium version of that. So if we look at the recipe, you see that, that the iron one that I had, I just had to throw it in there with some metallum and precantatio. That was just like four iron ingots and 16 nether wart got me that. So what I can do with that is this one can actually be run by a golem. So I'm going to get a, I made a farmium golem, I'm going to get a use core for him. And he'll just sit there whenever there's anything in this or in this you'll just grind away so i've got this here because it's quite useful if i've got something processing in here so if i come back from mining i've got a stack of iron in there that i want processing and i need a couple of some things i can just chuck them in there and do it quick anyway right let's do a little bit of infusion so we have got our fish now if we come to the right side so uh, yeah, that's our that's a harvest one, which is these are just bricks around night top with a bit of aspect, and then metal is from hoes. So I made some stone hoes, and metis is on wheat. So I made that. So we need three fish and a fishing rod, and I want this to eventually go into my thaumium golem, uh, advanced golem. I made it advanced. What the advanced one has is three slots, because if you look in the book at the fishing golem you'll see that we can have it so that uh, three slots on the advanced golems normal golem has two slots let me quickly show you this it's the easiest way i'm gonna place him down see there's three little marks there uh, a normal golem has two because this guy's an advanced golem he has three so what we can have is look at this i can make a, one of these a yellow one so he has a chance of catching more than one thing at a time I'm not gonna bother the red one that does that cook stuff but what i want is a order one which means he gets more chance of good stuff and an entropy one which means he gets less chance of bad stuff so i'll get more enchanted books and stuff and less less um leather boots and stuff so um i'm just getting a cup of tea delivered thank you <laughs> let's uh put him away again Always with the professionalism, eh? So now what I want to do then is I want to put a fish, a raw fish, a raw salmon, and a fishing rod onto here with the harvest core in the middle. And I've got my three aspects we need there. I've got aqua, bestia, and meta, which again from hose. Give this a click on my wand and it's going to get me a lovely fishing core. All I've got around this, I've got eight crystal clusters and I've got eight skulls. So I don't think this would be very robust for doing stuff with high instability. But at the minute I'm only doing stuff with relatively low instability. So we should have no issues. I'm com confident that this is enough to not cause issues unless I start getting to high instability stuff. Like the... The repair thing that is a high so i don't i don't want to do that yet until i've got more stuff around it this thing up here restore it see that very high so i'd want more skulls and um candles and crystal clusters and stuff around before i tried that there we go we have got a lovely fishing core excellent now the other reason why i want to get into the tanya is because this on its own is going to cause us some slight issue <laughs> Uh, what I'm going to do is let me get some gold. Uh, 24. Do I? 8, 16, 24, yeah. 24. If I jump down here, I want to get a shard, one of them, and one of them. I've done two order shards, that's not great. And uh, if I put these around the shard, I get them wand in there i get these things that i uh, mentioned so i want three colored ones of these excellent 
And now what we can do, we can go place this guy, but anything he catches, it's gonna go straight on the floor. What time is it? Is it daylight? It's night time. Oh, fallen nights and everything. Let me um, sleep and make sure they're gone, and uh, I'll p place this guy down. That's actually pretty funny because he's, he's got a big creeper head. <laughs> That's a good hat. This hat's got. There was that guy. There was also one on a horse, wasn't he? He might come running at me from anywhere, any second. They're a bit nuts, them fallen knights. Enderzo, fun mod. So, uh, you get a better chance with these guys if they are near deeper water. There's an enderman there. Let me try. Let me try. So, yeah, when I was making that uh, blaze spawner area, I could hear it. I could hear a ghast, so I went looking about, and I was lucky, and I found it. Oh, you son of a bitch. He's not going to let me get close, is he? Come on, duck. I'm going to try and sneak up on him. I don't get... Son of a bitch. That's a fine one, it's night time. One last go. <laughs> Yay! Cool. Got an enderman. Excellent. That is going to be what we'll do next. Make a spawner for that. Uh, maybe I haven't got time this episode now. So, yeah, the thing with this is you want it in deep open water for better results. I'll make a little pontoon or something down here for this guy. I'll uh, we'll stand him on there for now. Like so. And uh, if I put his fishing core on, like that, we'll start fishing. The creeper over there. I saw it. And then for giving, giving his upgrades. He's got a better chance of getting stuff for us. But the issue... Christ. That's that fallen knight there, isn't it? Yeah. That was a creeper that way. I need to keep an eye on it. He's in the water. He can stay there. Um, what's going to happen is he's just going to chuck the stuff all over the place. We need somewhere collecting it. I could use a gather golem. But the gather golems, half the time, they end up in the water. Because they're idiots. So what I want, I want to make is a hopper hock. Um, my hopper hock needs... Uh, rune of air, so I need a runic altar. Pretty straightforward. It's a bit of mana. So I need to make a runic altar. Pretty straightforward again. So I'm going to get them bits made. Because this guy needs something to collect what he's going to be collecting for us. So for now, there's no point really having him down here. He's collected a fish up to now. By the look of it. Let's see what he gets. What? That was clever, wasn't it? He jumps away. How come that didn't kill me? Oh man, where's he gone now? Oh, he's back. <laughs> he got out of the way, didn't he? He's smarter than I think he is. Uh, oh no, I didn't die. Unless it blew him up and not me. Bizarre. Come on, give me something good. Give me a enchanted book or something. Well, no wonder I keep dying when I'm ignoring stuff like that. Right, so yeah, uh, I need a hopper hock to collect the things he gets for me. Come on, give me something good. No, okay. So I'll, I'll be back when I, uh, I've got the stuff ready to make that. Yeah, we're getting on for 40 minutes, so I'm going to have to wrap up the episode pretty shortly, and I'll do the spawner next time. This guy's just chucking stuff all over the floor. The Mostly is we get fish, and... Uh, name tag a leather i put some fishing away so he's got more than this but the one good thing i've got to know is the fishing rod got unbreaking three and xp boost three on it so that's pretty cool i can pull that off onto a book and i can use that book to put it onto my pick or sword uh, i think it's i think it, i've heard it works well on picks and unfortunately it's getting dark what i want to do really quickly i've made another mana spreader so what should happen here is if i put these on here so three mana steel ingots a bit of carpet a feather and a bit of string and then give that a tap with my wand of the forest. We should start seeing some mana transfer from that into this. I'm not sure if it's going to do it all. No chance. Maybe. Some chance. Uh, half full there. Go on, you can do it. Oh yeah, not bad actually. Not bad. So there you get this little lightning thing and then 
throw a living rook on there, give it a click with a one. And we've got our first runes. Runes of air. Oh. God, that's just a normal zombie. If that was a fallen knight, I'd be dead now. Well, let's get in here before anything else, else untoward happens there. Uh, I should... Let me just sleep. Let me just sleep before things go really bad. For me again. Uh, come on. Sleep faster. So, what I need for this hopper hawk is... Mystical Grey, Grey Mana Petal, Mystical Light, Light Grey Mana Petal. So that's... Let me in. Let me in, let me in. Put that stuff in there. You can go in there. All the stuff from the fish man can go in there. Uh, so I need some Grey Petals and some Light Grey Petals. There we go. And you notice two of them are called Mana Petals. What they are is they're ones that need to be thrown into the Mana Pool. Like so. So one of them and one of them. So we've got two of them, two of them, excellent. And we've got our runes of air. The other thing we need is a bit of redstone combined with a bit of grass to get redstone roots. Grass, of course, you just use shears on some grass to pick it up like that. And now we've got all the bits we need to make our hopper hock. Uh, I think I'm going to have to create some kind of walled in enclosure for him as well, though, because I think he's going to throw bigger than what a hopper hock can deal with. But uh, that, 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 one of them, and a seed, or any kind of seed. So I'll take one of these melon seeds into the apothecary there, and we've got a wonderful hopper hock. Now we need a chest. That's far too small for purpose. Well, it's going to catch a little bit of stuff for me. Oh no. Oh no. Get away. I hate these guys. <laughs> I'm running away. I'm running away. One heart. Let me. Oh, Christ. Uh, got some more of them in there yet. Yeah. <laughs> Come on then, now I'm ready for you. Where are you, douche? Ooh. Okay. Whew. Um, so now we can put that down. And hopefully, it'll be... It'll catch most of the stuff. I don't think it's going to catch all the stuff. But you see there, I already picked something up. I've got some fish in the chest there. And see that was in range. So this guy chucks stuff everywhere. We're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to make some kind of little fishing pontoon for him with a walled area on the back of it. But that should catch him also stuff. And uh, between episodes, I will create some kind of. In fact, once I start getting enchanted books, I can make magical wood. I can make some of the advanced filing cabinets to store the enchanted stuff. And um, I'll keep some of the fish, but I'll probably bin most of it. But there we go. That's uh, that's that sorted. Kind of sorted, half sorted, let's say. So I, I'm actually going to wrap up there then because I'm getting quite tired. I've been doing this episode for several hours and I want to go to sleep now. So that can go in there. And uh, I'm going to wrap up. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. A bit magic -y. We'll get back onto the tech next episode. I shall be working out how to get a lot of Endermen by using that Safari net. So she's making a Ender spawner and a grinder and somewhere to put that upstairs but for now i want to say thank you for watching and i hope to see you next time cheers bye